we give glory to God for another time, another day in His presence. The presence of God brings fullness of joy. And today is another day. To be in His presence is just to be happy because He will always supply you with all things. Hallelujah. And we thank God for doing that for us. We give Him glory, honor, and adoration. We thank Him for what He has done, what He is doing right now, and what He will still do. May His name be praised forevermore in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, we thank God for seeing us to the 11th day, the 11th of time of joy and gladness. And what we are saying is that concerns us is the joy that our Lord Jesus Christ came to give us. That joy, that joy that he gave unto us, that joy that he, that he gave us through, the, through his resurrection and came to restore us back to where we are before the fall of man. Hallelujah. So we thank God for what he is doing. We say glory, honor, and adoration back to him in Jesus' mighty name. I want to appreciate you for always joining us every time that we come online. And we pray that God will surely be with you in Jesus' mighty name. Our prayers will be answered in Jesus' name. And everything that our life needs to move into his glory, to see that thing that he has promised us, God will surely give us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Now let us move forward and say, God bless you. God bless you, my moderator, for joining us. God bless you. God bless you. I pray that God will surely answer you at the point of need in Jesus' mighty name. He will surely do it in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. So we thank God for what he's doing. Please, as you are joining us, please give us a like. Give us love. And help us to share it. As you are joining us, give us a like, love, and share it. And we are both on YouTube and Facebook channel. So I pray that as we are doing this, God in his infinite mercy will not leave us in Jesus' mighty name. So we want to pray so that we go straight into the business of today. Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Holy Michael. Father, Lord, we thank you. We return all glory, honor, and adoration back to you. Be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, the hour has come for us to know you more, for us to dine with you, for you to even reveal yourself as who you are, not what we think or what people have told us to be. No, we want to see you. We want you to reveal yourself unto us. Because in seeing you, in knowing you, we shall do great exploit. Father, do that for us in Jesus' name. Open our spiritual eyes. Open our spiritual ears. Father, Lord, give us that enabling spirit to see you more and to know you more. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So we now want to go into the business of the day and what is it day 11 the 11 of joy and gladness the time of joy and gladness and as we have said earlier on and as we continue to say that the time of joy and gladness that we are talking about is not the joy or the thing the joy that we get in the physical thing we are talking about the joy that comes from the indwelling of Christ in us. Hallelujah. The only thing that can give us joy, the, the only thing that can give us that joy is when we have him living in us. Hallelujah. It's not an amount of scriptures that I can quote or how long I've been in this, uh, 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 as a member of the denomination that matters. What matters most is, is he living inside of me? Is he living inside of you? Is living inside of you and inside of me is what we determine the joy 
we are talking about and we have talked about 10 different things back that we derive from the joy that we receive that the joy and gladness that came through the restoration of our lord jesus christ and if that is the case then what are we now talking about we need to say what to give glory to god for what he is doing for us and now we are talking about the next one which is life abundantly or abundant life the eleventh thing that gives us joy and gladness in our fellowship with him or allowing him to dwell in us is that we have life abundantly or abundant life that is what we are going to be looking at today abundant life so when we allow him in he will give us abundant life he will give us abundant life we can only get this life we can only get this life when he is really living in us most of the time we think that we can by going to church alone by worshiping alone is that is what we need him to live inside of us brethren that is not the truth that uh, that is absolutely not the truth the truth is until he lives in your heart and in my heart that is when we are truly a believer when he lives inside of your heart when he lives inside of my heart that is when you and myself becomes a believer believer is not because you go to church that that is not what makes you a believer not because i i was i uh, i was born inside the church i was even I, I i i grew up inside the church those are not the things that makes you to be a believer only one thing that qualifies you only one thing that qualifies you and me to become a to be called a believer only one thing and that thing is called that those people that believe in him believing in him and accepting him as your lord and savior and it's just the only thing that you have you don't have other things that is that is going through that is that you are thinking of you don't have other things that you are running after then if that is the only thing that you have then you will see that all the things we have been discussing from the one of this time of joy and gladness you will be experiencing them you see the journey of christianity is no one time thing it's a journey of life the first day that you accept him as your lord and savior that is just the beginning so the more you now keep on fellowshipping with him you allow him inside your heart then what what will not happen then the he himself will start developing in you then you start having all the attributes all the things that is that christ himself carries and i said that we have packages he has some packages that is inside of, of him so those packages are what we need to really really work on and if we can accept him and ask him to dwell richly in our heart we will discover that those packages will start working for us automatically and these, these are the things but the only thing that qualifies you the only thing that yesterday we are talking about that before you can use the name of our lord jesus christ you must be qualified to use that name so it's not just you just pick the name outside and just start chanting or start making noise with the name no it doesn't work that way the name works with qualification you must be qualified to use that name hallelujah now let us move forward and look at other things that we the, the business of today we are talking about when we accept him and allow him to dwell richly in our hearts when we have what we what is called abundant life abundant life the type of life that has no limits when we talk about abundant life we are not talking about life that is restricted hallelujah we are not talking about life that you are going to get from man you see that so many times that you get this life from people but they are not abundant life 
we most of us that that comes from Africa we know that we know that there are ways that you can do things and then you can start enjoying life you can just do money rituals you can do so many things that make you get rich quick and you know that those things don't give you abundant life they are only a short circuit life they are just life that just come and it goes hallelujah this life that we are talking about on this day 11 is life that when once we are rested in him it will expand us into what he himself called abundant life and we are going to use it abundantly we are going to be using it we are going to that live that life abundantly once we allow him once we accept him once we allow him to go inside of us you will discover that those things that you think is too difficult or those things that you don't even know how it's going to work he himself will take charge as from that moment he will take charge and from that moment that he takes charge he will start driving you and as he becomes the driver of the vehicle then what what do you see you will see that everything will work out fine hallelujah so what we are talking in very is this that when once you have that life once i have that life that is having him inside of me then anything that i ask in that name in him he will surely what fulfill those things let us go into the scripture and see what God, uh, what is telling us concerning this life that we are talking about. John 10:10. 10, 10. Let's start with John 10:10. 10, 10. Because we are going to pray. But let us look at John, John chapter 10, verse 10. The book of John, chapter 10, verse 10. Let us move from there and see what he is saying concerning our life that is going to give us that abundant life once we what we accept him once we allow him to be our ruler once we allow him to be our master once we allow him to dwell richly in our hearts so so confessing him is not enough it's just part one the the major part is him living living inside of you now let us look at john 10 10. the thief commit not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy i am called that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly hallelujah can you see that is coming to this world and dying for our sins and resurrected and then restore us back is that we might have life and have it more abundantly that is a package let me let's look at as many translations as we can we can look at let us look at this bba the chief comes only to take the sheep and to put them to death he comes for their destruction i have come so that they may have life and have it in greater measure hallelujah bsb the thieves comes only to steal and kill and destroy i have come that they may have life and have it in all its fullness fullness of life hallelujah so you can see what he's saying that we have life in its fullness look at sephra the thief comes not for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, that they might have it more abundantly. Let us look at TPT and see how it says. TPT, that's the Passion Translation, say that a thief has only one thing in mind. He wants to steal, slaughter, and destroy but I have come to give you everything in abundance, more than you expect. Life in its fullness, 
until you overflow. Hallelujah. Do we see what we are talking about? Let's read that passion translation again. The passion translation again. Let's look at what is said. A thief has only one thing in mind. He wants to steal, slaughter, and destroy. And But I have come to give you everything in abundance. That is, there's nothing that we are going to be asking from him. Once we allow, allow him to live inside of, uh, inside of us, so that we are going to have it more than expect. Life in its fullness until you and myself as an overflow. Hallelujah. And I pray in the name of Jesus. An overflowing blessing will be asked in Jesus' mighty name. Listen to the word of God. As from today, as you accept him as your Lord and Savior, in the name of Jesus, an abundant life, life beyond measure, life that you cannot even look at the you know the beginning and the end but will be will be so glorious uh, even life in its fullness will be yours in jesus mighty name and you will continue to have overflowing in jesus mighty name the purpose of him coming is to give us life to give us everything see when we are not in a that is when we don't have that life and the absence of christ is just absent of life why? In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word and what the word is God. So the, the, the Christ we are talking about has been there from the beginning. The Christ we are talking about has been there from the beginning. So he knows what life is all about, and he knows that even God Himself needs the life. To you know what to do what to create everything. And when it was when he got to verse 3, he said, Let there be light. And as soon as the light came, everything became living. Hallelujah. Every other thing was in darkness. Nothing was moving except the Spirit of God. But as soon as the word came into play, as, as soon as the, as God declared the word, what now happened? We have life. Let there be this. Let that be that until God Himself put His own life inside man, and that is the life that was lost at the garden. The life is not the physical breathing that we lost, but there's a power that is inherent in that breathing in and out, and that is what we lost. And that is life that is we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. But how can you do it when the Christ that can that will strengthen you? It's not even in you and it's not dwelling in you. Hallelujah. So we can see that he said that the purpose oh until on wash it, just wash it clean. That is why Nikili, that is why me. That is big guy, Tia Mafuani, I love ya. Kilipa Makishi, I kish kishi, kisha yeta manu. We okay, Kako Jeffum by dear. No, only Kali, Jia ye, Nibo Bono. Hallelujah. So if we have this abundant life, if God is giving us this abundant life, then what is now stopping us from enjoying it? I So he wants to give us iye and it over Ije ni opolopo, no ba ni adra, no ko jesu, ije ni opolopo, you will start experiencing it in Jesus' mighty name. That thing you have been acting for, that seems as if God is not answering you, I pray in the name of Jesus, as from today, start experiencing it in Jesus' mighty name. Only king on bali, ni ije, ije lo kwe, life, so that we can have life. And have it in abundance, and have it in abundance. And I pray in the name of Jesus, abundant life will be asked in Jesus' mighty name. Let's move forward and see another passage that makes us to understand that once we allow, once we live in Him, once we allow Him to live inside of us, then the life we are talking about will be easier for us. 
it will be easy it will be a, a thing that is so easy things that we can just experience and see like normal thing i je kon ti amama la koja gege bi ohun ti ko tle ni wahala now let us look at what psalm 36 says psalm 36 verse 8 psalm 36 verse 8 je ka wo kon ti psalm yen so fun psalm 36 verse 8 is saying something there hallelujah so if that psalm is talking to us is you see that is telling us about what having the same life psalm 36 verses 8 on so nipa bi ashima ni ijeji ati bi ohun ti ye ma se fun wa verse 8 Psalm 36 verse 8 it said that they shall be abundantly satisfied with what with fatness of thy house and they shall make thou shall make them drink of the river of thy pleasure hallelujah when we have the abundance life when we are have this life what is saying that we shall be satisfied with what fatness abundantly satisfied with fatness and then we shall drink the river of pleasures that is the the, the pleasures that we have we will be enjoying will be like river gogala mo bi odo sere pe ke yan wo nodo ko wa ni lodo ko de ma wa ni lodo o ni pe ti abani ije ije a ni pe kun yi o ni a wa da 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 be ni ti o n badun ninu odo ti o n badun ninu odo let us look at how the yoruba version says it so ko le mo nkan ti olorun so nipa to so wa pe we are going to experience what abundant of life and the passion translation said that we are going to get life in its fullness that is everything that we don't have ti a o ti rigba ninu aye ti a ko le rigba on natural things that we are going to get it when we have in this other force only con tiabatine the only thing we need in this world is him alone oh if we don't have him we don't have anything tiabatine jesus ni ma yewa ti ko ba je oluwa to ri palawa gbogbo mo tun ko ta nse an sere ni sugbon tiabatine we don't need to run after anything i was looking at one of the uh things that messages that was sent this morning somebody wrote that why don't you go and look for god and stop chasing your enemy that if a man's way places god he will even make his enemy to be his friend so even if instead of you fighting the warfare why don't you find that man that man that can stay inside of you and then he will fight the war for you so it's just because we are running after physicality when we live when we are forgotten about the real christ that needs to live in us that if he lives in us everything that we need will be given back to us amen everything that your life and my life needs will be we are going to get it if we can only what we can only ally in in our hearts Oh, ti abali gba ni aye o pa wa fun wa ni kini a wa joba a wa joba a wa joba ni gbogbo ti a ba fe then we have everything so that is what god is saying that we are going to have abundant life once we what we accept him so hallelujah i pray in the name of jesus as we accept him as our lord and savior and we are not just confessing his name alone but we really believe in it. I ban it to talk. They get the alone at the balawa. We go to angry day. Iye, ni opolopo ono afifwa. Or iye ni opolopo ono afifwa. Let's move forward and see another another thing that is said unto us. So when we get into that, we'll be looking at things that we will not pray on. I want to go to my feet, my bagra. Opolopo la consacre tan sasimza sasom. We should have time for him. Just between him and us. Nothing more. And I one of the series that we have done 
we have discussed it that the weapon that our Lord Jesus Christ that he was using, he told us those weapons. He said that I don't do things, I don't do things on my own. I, I see my father do, so I do, and as I hear him, so I do I, I do what I say what I need to say. So that means that he has a time that he will go and listen or he will wait upon him for what God needs to do or what God needs to tell him. Hallelujah. But then we want to do it from outside in. It's not possible. There's nothing that we will do from outside in that will last. The only thing that we do from top is digging grave. And where do we end it? In front, we, we, we have to go deep down. Hallelujah. So the only thing that we need that means that where he wants to reside where he wants to live is our heart in the name of Jesus, God will surely answer us at the point of need. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, God will surely answer us in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. So let us look at what He's saying. God is saying something unto you. He's saying something unto me. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 11. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 11. Let us look at what God is saying there. Isaiah 58, what we are bringing is a teaching ministry where we need to know how to stand, how we can stand with him. Basically, droop and alone. He said, I don't know to do it. That go beside the church, I was like, but on to Bamo, Oluma Bedro, whatever you know, you can stand by it and we take anywhere. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Psalm, I mean, Isaiah chapter 58, verse 11. And the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in drought and make fat thy bones, and thou shalt. Be like a water garden and like a spring of water whose waters fail not. Hallelujah. That is, if he lives inside of you and if he lives inside of me, look at what he will do. He said that, <laughs> oh, he said that, look at it. For, for just look at what God is saying. That is like, the Lord shall guide thee. It will, from, from inside, he will start, continue to guide us and satisfy our soul in drought. Even in that period, God will satisfy our soul. Not only that, and make fat our bones, and that and we shall what, be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters fail not in the name of jesus god will make you like a water garden in jesus mighty name god will surely satisfy you in drought in jesus mighty name oh in the name of jesus god will continually guide you and your water will fail not in jesus mighty name oh so we can we are saying that if we can only Allow him. Then we see that the abundant life that he's talking about is to satisfy us 360 degrees. Every area of our life that we are going to meet with his satisfaction. That is, if he lives in us, then he becomes our life. Then we, we become him. So when we go anywhere we go to, it's Christ that is talking, not you. Hallelujah. Let's look at second. Corinthians chapter 9. 2 Corinthians chapter 9. 
we are looking at things that make you to have abundant life. When we allow him inside of us, then the abundance life that he, he talks about will be given unto us. That's Second Corinthians 9, verse 8. Verse 8. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. And God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that ye always have sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. Before you can abound to do this great work, so something must be must be working inside of you. This is the one that will be directing you on those great uh, on, the, on those good work. Like the me ye on be she she kosibi oche de she ah kosibi oche de she in shere kosibi oche de she in shere. Hallelujah. So he is taking talk is telling you that you we abound in every good work if he abound inside of you. Ti o ba gbe ninu wa to gbe ninu ti e to gbe ninu ti ni ti o je olorun ati olugbara wa a ri pe ise rere to so yi a le po ninu re mo so aso tele ati adura pe loruko jesu we shall abound in every good work in jesus mighty name we will abound in every good work in jesus mighty name hallelujah so let us look at psalm before we start praying we want to look at psalm 16 same psalm 16 and i said it in so many times on this platform that that Psalm 16 was written for our Lord Jesus Christ because that is what he used to go down into Sheol. That was what he used to go down into the Sheol to what to take captivity captive because there has been a word written that you will not allow your only one to see corruption. Hallelujah. And you will show him the path of life. Now let us look at that Psalm. Psalm 16 verse 11 and let us look at what he said there showing us the path of life oh hallelujah so that means that if he, if the life is in us then moving into the path of life will be the will be the easiest thing that will ever happen to us moving in the path of life hallelujah so if he lives in you if he lives in me moving in the path of life will be things of easy, an easy thing that will show me the path of life. Hallelujah. It will show you, it will show you, it will show me where life is. Really. It will show you path of life in Jesus' name. And look at in thy presence. When he is present in you, when he is inside of you, he will do what? He will give you fullness of joy. And this is and what are we talking about? We are talking about joy. 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 That is joy and gladness that come when our Lord Jesus Christ lives inside of us. That is what we are talking about. We are talking about the, the, the life that comes from him. Not the life that comes on a free full of things. I won't come at all and naive. Tico live for an eye, or what I live for the fun liar, or more the fun liar, or call the fun liar, I only for a liar, who so go contain with a joe, tea or one eta to fun in a liar. Oh, come to the fun in a yo, no name. Jesus, once we have him, so and Jesus Christ, the one we are talking about, is not the one that you are going, you are looking outside of yourself. He must be in. But over one year, no ma wa ji wa pada adeso wa diala yo. No bani adra no ko Jesus. Ayo tire ati ni ni lo lati shere moni ko wono ko wa ko wono ayewa. In the name of Jesus, that joy, that joy that our life, that joy that we need to move from bond to bond. Lati 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 pa de pa. Lati shegon de shegon from victory to victory will surely come into our life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's look at another thing. Then this one is what is, is like a nursery rhyme. I want a little bit so it's like a nursery rhyme. John 14, 6. John 14, verse 6. We have that and we know that. 
John 14, verse 6, we know what that one says to us. John 14, verse 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. So, when we are talking about the life, Christ himself said, he is the truth, he is the way, and he is the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. The life we are looking for, the life I am looking for, he is inside of him. Oh, he is, that life is inside of Christ. So, until we allow that life to well up, that is accepting him as our Lord and Savior, then our, the life that we need, that our life needs, will now come forth and then we'll be able to do all that he said we can do. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus, the life that you need, the life that I need to move forward and do great things in the name of Jesus, we start working for us in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Now let us, we are going to look at two more verses, then we're going to start praying. Hallelujah. Agbadwa like pay. Afe uwa won kome jikon. Eti oti ti olorun sofwa. So when we look at those two things, then we'll be able, then we'll go and pray. Hallelujah. Afe uwa won. Let's look at Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. Kini koto sofwa de. Afe uwa moti yigwe Galatians and sofwa. Then from there, then we'll go to the last one. Then we start praying for life. Abundant life can only be seen in Christ. Abundant life can only be seen in Christ. Hallelujah. Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. Kilo so, oh, oh, we can. Let's, let's just take it to King James and see. Verse 20. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. But Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live it by the faith of the sons of God who loved me and gave himself for me. <clears throat> I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet, not I, but Christ liveth in me. Hallelujah. So, we can see what we have been starting so that I will be. Tite so bagbe nwa. Tite so bagbe nwa. Bukbo kanti akons atutu nwa asone. The only thing, that's the only thing that will qualify you, that will make you to do great exploits is when Christ lives in us. When Christ lives in us when he lives in us then we see what that we can do all things all things that we say we can do if we can do all things through christ that strengthen us he will not strengthen us to do great things our funerary he is the only one that can help us what to do great things hallelujah but we need what to have to allow him in us he said that i I'm not the one that is living now. It's Christ that lives in me. She in the sobe. She won the sobe pay. You will call on Binsi. Hey, Christy. Long binu tie. I be Christy. Long binu me. Oh, she only saw. She only saw. She only saw. She only saw. We are Christy. Binu me. Christy binu me. She a binu le fu oso ya pay. Christy binu me. It's just this is an individual thing. Because any control is up over where we will shake off when above where we will go for it will look more. This is a you pass away only talo only cool boca. You know if he is really living in you, you will know. If not, you will know. Is this is things that you that you that is workable. This is a thing that is workable. If and if it is workable, you will know. Because once it works, once it's inside of us, there are things that we will see. I won't go out of my shelly. Tamo, oh, Jesus don't shee. Jesus don't shee. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I pray that he will surely work 
his miracle in our life in Jesus' mighty name. He will surely work his miracle in our life in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. So, the, the, that Galat Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 is saying something. We are not trying to come and speak into your intellect. We are speaking to that spirit that's inside. No, all those ones, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? If we don't have that one, how can we stand? How can we move forward? And that's what we're saying. Oh, the answer there. Oh, that's okay. You know what? Go, 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 go. Ti Jesus, but in baby, ti abak badi ni 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 josi. Go le si ele ya me ya. Go le si pe emene ti Paul, emene ti Apollo. Go le si pe mi o ferry da me da mi ferry ta me. Mi o koni si ori o tan pe nepotism. When we still don't have been, we can be preaching him, we can be talking about him, but until we have been. Then that is when we will see the difference between knowing and having him and just preaching him. Kabang tabak on wa su Jesu ko ti o ti e wo kun wa ti o si no kun wa amare ninu iwa wa. Ta ba de te pe o ti wa ninu kun wa iwa wa lo ba fun o. To ri nigba to ba ngbe lo wa awon kon wa se de pe o si mo to ba ye lenu. Nothing will be strange on to you because you know there is the redeemer that is inside of you. That has power to do all things. Hallelujah. Agbara kwa to wa ni no krisi to ni ubu kuleri uni agbara wa no krisi to ni ubu kuleri agbara be agbara owa agbara ku oh ani uni agbara kwa ni no krisi to ni ubu kuleri and that is why when he lives inside of you that power will just involve you it will engulf you that power agbara wa ade swa di otu. How are you, your father? How dear the author? You will go to Jesus Christ. I bear all our life. I shall give. I shall share. I shall share your life. So we want to look at if what are the things you need to do if the life if to to make him lives inside of you. The above a critical be noah. Romans chapter two, O song of one. Romans chapter twelve, verse one. O song of one. We talk about the shield to soy. Ti abade shi ti rom di we rom we we roman shi so far twelve verse one ye ari kwe a awa fura wa awa digiri a di ni auto a di ni to wa ni mo be ni mo let's look at it we call it a living sacrifice I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that you present your body a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service. Hallelujah. Am I a couple of hours? You can never have a living, your body can never be a living sacrifice without first having the life inside of you. Life, yeah. No man, Tom. Just you go by one or one. You go by one or one. No man, you walk by that. No man, you can't see this is not something that can be done by your intellect or by your thinking. No. You become a living sacrifice. But what? Something must be living inside of you before you can become that. Before you yourself can be alive. So, Hallelujah. So, we need to be alive. We need to be alive. And it being alive is what we now qualify you to what? To get what we need to get from Christ. Hallelujah. So, our being alive. Because you may have met a con, certain solata of people, you pray, she cried, she cries, Chris, you be no happy, she will be no happy, Tiko bag be no wa, Kosi botale she, Tiki so bag be no wa, Keshe, Kosi botale she, until he lives inside of us. That is when. We can really, really experience in. Hallelujah. So let's just look at the last one, then we start praying. The last one, we now start praying. 
afe gbadura na ku yi afe gbadura tu mo ka to gbadura yen mo fe ko tubo ye wa dara dara o ti an so won we are talking in brevity that the joy and gladness that comes from the restoration of Christ is just in living in us we cannot get anything done outside of him our life of struggle is just because he is not fully inside of us we can accept him with our mouth if our heart has not accepted him we are still half big let me repeat that if we confess him as our lord and savior and our heart has not accepted him as lord and savior we are just half big that is why when we say something our heart is thinking something else and the bible make us to understand that the two shall agree if two of you shall agree as to anything so if our mouth the spoken word and the thinking and our thoughts is when the two of them does not agree then we are having disparity but not until our heart okwa ati nkan to ti enu wa jade ti meji ba papo owo ni adikini owo lo ta ba so lo ma ndi ase but ti gbogbo mejo ba papo we don't have that authority we don't have that authority that authority doesn't come until we have the two working together hallelujah so we now want to go on what even Christ himself say unto us o pe wa oni e wa so do mi he said that we should come on to him because of what he wants to give us life he wants to give us life and when we look at this we are going to be looking at things you are going to enjoy when he lives inside of you when he lives inside of you there are certain things you are going to be enjoying and that is why we those things we are looking for it outside our coin and lake and lake rinita jibo ita koluwa hmm kusinita ni mo kristi luwa ta ba le gba kristi laye o pe luwa o de sise to fese a ri pe iya mi a de sele gege bi o se so let's look at god bless you for giving us that like because as you are joining us give us like love and share it give us like love and share it and i pray that in the name of jesus god will surely meet you at the point of need in jesus mighty name hallelujah so what are we saying in bravely ejeka tu wo si si package we want to explain this place well, very well for us jesus said come to me all that are laboring and they are heavily laden hallelujah and i will give you rest let's look at that and look at what is talking about there then we are not going to look at what we are going to enjoy when we have in in, in us hallelujah ti abati le ni ninu okun wa e ri pe awon kan ma pa ninu aye wa to ma je to ma ti ko ni je isorogbon let me clear this one that doesn't mean that you are not going to be facing crisis you are going to see crisis but you will not be seeing the crisis you will be seeing Christ in the crisis but me dada wa ma ri jesus ninu isoro so gba pe wa ninu isoro yen jesus ni kolomo ma ri so ko wa ni je ko ko ni je ki isoro e ko ni yen lara tori pe o ri isoro e mo o to ri ni jesus and o lo gbo to de so fun ani pe come on to me all who are that are labor let's look at that then we are going to take that look at ten things that we enjoy when we have him living in us to ba di aye ti jesu ba di aye ninu wa ki pe jesu wa lenu jesu to wa ninu ninu okan wa ti jesu ba ti le di aye ninu okan wa de gbo gbo to gbo gbo to ma se oni come on to me all ye that labors and are heavy laden i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn from me for i am meek and lowly in heart and ye shall find rest unto your soul hallelujah no oh, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light hallelujah o to ni ka se ni en sugbo awon wa fe se a fe se ni party wa fe se o to won lati se and that is why we are where we are now let us look at i want to from this passage alone Takai, this is Matthew eleven twenty eight to thirty. I'm going to read ten things. 
tamariba o mewa wa nbe ti amagba ti abaligba ki jesu ko wonu oko wa haleluya hmm. number 1 if we come unto him and allow him to live inside of us he will give us a life of confidence we will have a life of confidence that is i won not don ba wa le riyan we be able to face those things haleluya i won ko don ja wa la ya yen ali ali that number 1 in that those three passages eh, we are going to have number 1 a life of confidence number 2 we are going to have life of joy don't forget we are talking about abundant life that life in abundance so that is what he said he's going to give us and then is that when you come on to me i will give you rest no so we are going to have life of joy we are going to have life of peace peace we do not enjoy peace we are going to have life of beauty then we are going to have life of fulfillment we've treated that life of life life of fulfillment then we have hope that our tomorrow is good then we have life of hope then we have life of love what is life of love because he loves us that he died for us when we are still sinners and then we say that we should come unto him then we are going to have fellowship with him then we have life with God. We are going to be fellowshipping with Him. Only a vassal of me. So once we get into Him, or once we allow, we allow Him inside our heart, what will happen? We will be fellowship with Him. I imagine God by the way. Fellowshipping is what we lost. When we lost His presence, we lost the fellowship. So one equity apart one over He will give us life with Him. And the last one is this. The last one is this. Amen. The last one is that. Start praying now. When Christ lives inside of you and inside of me, you have a life of that is free from stress and you are not going to be anxious. Hallelujah. Everything that makes you to be anxious will flee away. Because of what you have life inside of him. Ti obani aye, obani aye, ni noe. Ti o de di ye, ni no ti e. Alleluia. Agun go go a won. Oto mfume ni wa la kuro. Ade wa fwe ni aye yi no. All your anxiety and being anxious and your stress will go away. We have confidence in him. You have joy. You have peace. You have power. You have beauty. We have fulfillment. We have Oh, we have love and we are fellowshipping with him when he lives inside of us as and that is then we have we have a stress free life a stress free life he called all those people that are that are stressed that we should come and meet him once we allow him to live inside of, of us he will do what our moon bubu awa jagawa then we have a stress free life. Hallelujah. So the thing is this that is where it concerns you and me. Are you ready to allow, to allow Him inside of you as Lord and Savior? I'm not talking about you coming to church. Are you going to church? I'm not talking about that. What I'm saying now is, are you sure? Are you sure? He is your Lord and Savior. Are you sure? Are you sure that you have accepted him? Only, only confidence be near any time tea is the only one that is there for you. Then when you have that, then I say kudos. But if we are not having that or we see need him more in us. Why don't you bow down our head and ask him? I drop could have been bad day. Uluwa won't not come in. Uluwa won't not come in. Oh, Uluwa sope. Uli ara kole she she mi olu balagbe mi wawo. Oh, ara kole she. There is no amount of flesh that we can have that kosi oli kota le fi ara she. Tuli mungo kwa. Ibi kota parawalu ni. Netolikwe afi ara parawalu ni. 
going by the fiara, our fiara shishe, because we are working in our flesh and in our own ideas. That is why we are where we are today. But we can move forward. We can still do, we can still we can do great exploits if we can only align him. Hallelujah. Members of this church, people that have been in this church 40 years, 50 years, and more, that can say, even say 40 years, yes, you can know that, know this church, then you can vouch, you can vouch that the life was in the church then. The life, yes. Everything was working until we have a different life until we have people giving us a different life and these are in all the dominations so now the only thing that i we are looking at today is is it alive in you It's all of those things. Then why is still not being courageous? That is to tell you that when things happen, when it becomes you alone, then that's when you know whether you have confidence or not. Give me the life of confidence in you, Jesus mighty name. Give me life of confidence in you. In Jesus' mighty name, pray. Amen. We are talking about abundant love. God bless you, Mother Celestia. Shinaba, God bless you for joining us. God bless you. And for everyone that has been on the YouTube channel, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God will surely meet you at the point of need in Jesus' mighty name. The next prayer point is life of joy. He said that so that we can have life and have it abundantly. You want to pray, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, give me life of joy that is in you. The life of joy that is in Christ. And don't, don't, let, don't let us forget that we are talking about joy and gladness that is in Christ that is dwelling inside of us. Oh, Lord, 
in the name of Jesus. Father, the life of joy that make me that will make me to experience joy in you. Give it unto me. Move a life of joy. Life of joy. Life of joy. Father, in the name of Jesus, give this unto me. Give me, give this unto me. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The next prayer point is peace. <laughs> when he said that I will give you, he said, I will give you, I will give you life and more abundantly. Peace is part of what the third package was so for Look at what he said. He said, I will give you rest. When you when we call up, when we come unto him, he will give us rest. Why don't you now pray? Father, give me a life of peace. Life of peace. Every chaotic things in your life is just because you have taken your 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 recognition from him and you are putting it on those crises. And you, and wherever your attention is, is where we might, we we magnify your life. Otifi, oti bi o kwen kuro ni o ni o do Jesus oti bi sorry shure bi o de shiri shure bi o posi lo madabi no o kwen de ba kuro ifo ko ba right Father, give me life of peace. O start decreeing to everything that is not peaceful in your life. To to kumba wa ni no aye tye abile abene bi she ti ko ni alafia bi ya soro si na koko yi sofo lono in the name of Jesus let it comes into my life. Let my life become, start what? Let my life start experiencing peace. Peace beyond all. Oh, peace, peace, peace. Jeki a ye mi ko pes ni balafia. Jeki le mi ko balafia. Jeki she mi ko balafia. In the name of Jesus, let peace come into my life. Peace beyond human imagination. Let me experience it. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name pray. Amen. Beauty, beauty is part of abundant life. You will experience the beauty of God. Let the beauty of God be upon us. So the Bible makes us that there's beauty of God. Let the beauty of God, that's some night. You go down, you see that. Let the beauty of God be upon us. So when we have life of Christ inside of us, then we are going to experience the beauty of God. So pray now, Father, let the life of beauty surround me in every areas of my life. I crave and I pray for life of beauty. Life of beauty. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Beautiful life. You concerning my work, concerning my life. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Amen. Now the next one is fulfillment. Father, oh, when, once you live in us, you will give us a life of fulfillment. Father, in the name of Jesus. Don't forget, this is part of the prayer we have seen. We are doing today is day four on the night of fulfillment. Oh, and we are saying that this fulfillment can only come from Christ. Father, Give me life of fulfillment in Jesus' name. Life of fulfillment. That is part of package of abundant life. Life of fulfillment in Jesus' mighty name. The next one is life of hope. Baba. <laughs> oh, once we bad daru. Once you see, once you know that Christ lives inside of you, you have hope that tomorrow is going to be better. Oh, you want to pray that, Father, in the name of Jesus. Give me life of hope, Lord. Life of hope in Jesus' mighty name. Life of hope that I still believe that is, is that no matter what is happening, is going to be better. It's going to be better for me. Hallelujah. Can you just pray for life that, that no matter what the enemy is throwing at you? You can rest in that. Hey, oh, can you just open and stand open and ask him, No, oh Lord, give me this life of hope in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The next one is life of love. Oh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Father, the life of love, the love that emanates from you. 
let it stress inside of me in Jesus' mighty name. We are draw for a fair we are draw for a fair talk of war, a fair talk of war. Lani a ya ti oko, lani o kwa ti a ya, lani o bi a se o bi si o bon, e fe lani e bi, lani a wu, lani o dinu, dinu e chon lor, we need that love. If Christ live in our church, love must be there. If Christ in our heart, we must emanate love. Ah ah, so for no no, let the life of love, let it, let it move out in my life. Jeki yon re, jeki yon re, jeki, jeki a ye fe, kobe se ni shen no a ye ni, o shi o lor no a. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. Amen. The next one now, that second of the class, a life of fellowshipping with him. Ah, Gomida Adara. When God was coming to meet them, they he couldn't they couldn't pick, they couldn't pick the signal. Oh, signal what the four. Oh, signal and four. Their frequency could not pick the frequency of God. Can you pray now? Father, the life to know, the life to fellowship with you. They all, oh, in the name of Jesus, give it unto me. I want to know you more. You can only know God more. The more you fellowship with him, the more you allow his presence in your heart. The more, the more, the more, the more you get to know more of him. Oh, can you just pray? In the name of Jesus, let the life, that life of love, that life that, that, that comes from God, oh Lord, to fellowship with you. Oh Lord, you come one of me. Eh, mo ma ma pa o shishe. Eh, mo ti mo ma fi ma pa o kwe. To ma fi ma pa mi soro. Ni bo go iba. Oh Lord, you go me. 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 In Jesus, mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Shepard the Church, Sister Columbus Parish. God bless you. God will surely answer our prayers in Jesus' mighty name. The last prayer point for now is God, give me a stress-free life. Life that is free of stress and anxiety. The life that you don't need to start be anxious of anything. Oh, to balik babra, I could say, but only a wash of the book where it is a yeti a rulery that your party only pay a yori sinny for coin to repay a jagami roll. El Musifia, over cook badra, who knew the stress free life, stress free life, stress free life. As from today, because you are living inside of me, uh, as from today, let me begin to experience stress free life, stress free free life stress free life in the name of jesus oh let me experience a stressful life that what that you know little people will know me oh no that is a little me of god of more look a little more my life must be full of peace and must be there must be no chaos in my life that is a little i live a stress-free life i live a stress-free life the best in this moment so far i with my patience my year but she is not yet. We let you the law. I live a stress free life. My home live a stress free life. My family live, live a stress free life. Gomi dada, ti e yon ban be be, ti ko ni wala, o man je ki a ye, ke ni e kongon. Bo jakobu, jakobu ni ba to uri, e to uri farao, o ki be, o ni a, I'm just 120 years, but my life is full of stress. That is why my body is as it is. At 120, his body has become something else. Despite the fact that he was, he has to, the wisdom of God, but also, 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 life to the Kubeno, which is so lati, lati bakiri. His life was full of chaos every year. He be wala, or we wala, until the year you back off wala, he no king bad one ye, oh, the enjoy a ye no back off wala, wala, on just a quick, the abati the bounce of poa, so, oh, can it be a bay, bay, you wrong, a ye to come no wala. Start talking to God, Father, in the name of Jesus. As from today, let my life, oh, be free of stress. Let my ministry be free of stress. Let everything you have given me, my wife, my children, let them be free of stress. Oh, everything that you have given to us, living and non living, let us be free of stress. We want to live a stress free life. As from today, we live a stress free life. As from today, we live a stressful life. Come on, so soon, I hear my passion. We love to know. Oh, big, be a year, oh, big, be a year, sure. Oh, in the name of Jesus, so shall it be for you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Father, Lord, we thank you. We exalt your holy name. We thank you because 
you your word said you are going to give us life not just life as the type the word is given unto us you said that you will give us life and that you give us that life more abundantly father we pray in the name of jesus the life that is full of confidence give that to us in jesus name life that is full of joy that is full of joy in the name of jesus let your children experience it. life of peace in the name of jesus let that be our portion Life that is life that is full of your power. Oh, in the name of Jesus, let that be our portion. Life that is full of beauty. Oh, that everywhere we go, your beauty will surround us. Oh, only get care what we call our cassette coffee share in the shower mule. Only in the shower, the cafe mule larawa. Let the beauty of God be upon us and what and establish the work of our hand. The work of hand thou we establish. That means that there's beauty that needs to come in our life. In the name of Jesus, Father, let your beauty come to the life of Jesus' name. Yo, we ask for a life of fulfillment. All the promises that you have given unto us, we pray in the name of Jesus, we shall surely fulfill them in Jesus' name. Oh, in the name of Jesus, we don't want to be like our patriarchs. The Bible makes us to understand in Hebrews 11, 13, that they saw the promises afar off, but it, 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 it was not even fulfilled in that, in that generation. Father, every promise that you have given to us, Father, fulfill them in our lifetime. Even as we go into the, the, the fourth day of night of fulfillment, Father, Lord, hack into our prayer. Oh, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the life of hope that everywhere that you have lost hope, Oh, regain that hope back in Jesus' mighty name. Where you have lost love in your home, where there's no love in your life, in the name of Jesus, where everything that surrounds you seems as if nobody loves you, in the name of Jesus, because of, of abundance of love that is in abundant life of Christ, he received that love today, in the name of Jesus. Power to fellowship with him every now and then, receive that in Jesus' mighty name. A stress-free life, a stress-free life. A stressful life that is your portion and that is my portion in jesus mighty name amen begin to thank him and the cabeza in the pen of a lot of battle she did it to money she only she will do or she will she will do or she will go battle she did you to money she she will do or she will we are my people alone so let's begin to give him thank. So Father, I thank you because as from today, my life is full of love of your abundant life. It's full of you. It's full of you. Abundant life is my portion. As from today, abundant life is my portion. Father, Lord, thank you for giving me abundant life, for giving my home, my wife, my children, abundant love, abundant life. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. A shiolonwa, a shiva badadara, a shiolon yan, a shiominayo, a shiwatin guadra, a shio babatin shubunino, o shiolonwa. We thank you, Lord. We give you glory. We thank you, Father. We give you glory. We give you thank. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Be thou exalted in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. As we have decree and as we have said unto God. So shall it be for us in Jesus' name. Only on both of us, so shall it be for me and yeah, for me in Jesus' mighty name. Don't let us forget, we are still in the life, in the seven nights of fulfillment, in the light seven nights of fulfillment, and we have new moon service today. So we are going to be doing this. After the moon service, new moon service, so we are not going to add, we are not going to disrupt anything, but we are still going to pray for this fulfillment. We are still going to pray tonight. So, but you are going to join us as from twelve thirty a.m. to one thirty a.m. We are going to start today the life, the seven night of fulfillment. Ashale we share Ileri. Today is the fourth day, so we are shifting the time from ten thirty twelve. 30 a.m. to 1 30 a.m. And I pray that as you join us in the name of Jesus, God will surely fulfill 
all the promises and covenants in your life and in my life in Jesus mighty name and I want to say to, that the blessing of God will follow you as from today this day 11 as we're going to meet, meet on the day 12 you are going to experience abundant life in Jesus mighty name amen let us glorify God with seven hallelujah hallelujah let us give God glory for that. Seven hallelujah to praise Him. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. And I say shalom unto you in the name of Jesus. Till we meet tomorrow, why we'll be discussing day 11 with of time of joy and gladness where we'll be looking at things that that the packages we have in Christ the packages T and Sonu T and Wari Flower look you have to study you have to look for things yourself be like the Berean Christian why she a wari only buy wisdom sell it not buy wisdom only ko rani only only ko look don't look for wisdom free don't look for free wisdom. Go and purchase wisdom. Buy wisdom and sell it not. Anything free doesn't last. Anything that you are buying free, you don't value it. But go and buy wisdom. And you see that you are going to see that there's knowledge in wisdom. There's power in wisdom. There's so many things in wisdom. So shall it be for us. Till we meet tomorrow, I say shalom, 